In this presentation, we will understand identity operators in detail. This is part one of identity operators. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to identity operators. The second topic is understanding the ID function. In total, we will understand these two topics. Let's first start with the first topic that is introduction to identity operators. So what is an identity operator? Identity operator is an operator which has the capability to compare the IDs of the objects. Unlike equality operator, which has the capability to compare the values, identity operator has the capability to compare the IDs of the objects. We will understand in details what do we mean by ID. But right now, we just need to understand this that identity operator only compares the IDs of the objects. There are two different types of identity operators available in Python. The first operator is is operator and the second operator is is not operator. In this presentation, we will not discuss these two operators. We will understand them in the next presentation. For now, we just need to understand how the ID function works. So let's move on to the next topic, which is understanding the ID function. So what is an ID function? Before understanding ID function, we must know this that Python is a purely object-oriented programming language. Therefore, everything in Python is an object. Each object has some memory location. Python allocate memory location to each object. And therefore, each object has a unique ID which we can use to refer that object. So, in a nutshell, we can say that each object in Python has a memory location identified using a unique ID. So, every object has a unique ID and we can refer the object through its unique ID. Also, the ID of an object can be checked using the ID function. So, ID function provides us this capability to check the ID of a specific object. And the syntax of ID function is pretty simple. We just need to type ID and within parentheses, we need to specify the object name whose ID we want to know. Now, let's understand this entire concept of ID function with the help of an example. For this, let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, we need to type this command str equal to hello. str is a variable which is pointing to the string hello. This is an object and Python will allocate memory for this object and make str point to this hello object so that we can use str later in our code to refer this string hello. If we hit enter, and now if we type str and hit enter again, we will get the string hello. Because with the help of str, we can refer this object hello. After typing str and after hitting enter, we will get the string hello on the screen. Now we want to know the id of this string hello. The id of this string hello can be checked by passing str to the id function. So we can use id function. And to the id function, we can pass str. str is the name pointing to the string hello. If we hit enter, we will get this id 13926095 This id can be different in your computer. In my case, I am getting this id. This id is unique to this object. Note that this is the ID of the object hello and not the variable str. str is just name given to this object. Python allocates memory for this object. And therefore, we can see the ID of this object, which is 13926095203304. Now, what happens if we simply type hello? If we type hello and if we hit enter, we will get the string hello. What if we type id hello? This means what if we type id and provide hello 
as an argument to this id function. What happens after this? If we hit enter, we will get the same id 13926095203034. Is it not the case that Python will allocate new memory for this string? No. Python will reuse the same object which has been allocated previously. It is not the case that Python will allocate new memory for the string. Python has already allocated memory for this object and Python prefers to reuse the same object instead of allocating a new memory for the same object. It does not even make sense. So Python in reality saves a lot of memory. Python never allocate a new memory location. So this is the reason why we are getting the same ID here. So it does not matter whether we pass str to id or if we pass the object directly to id. We'll get the same id. I hope the concept is completely clear. Now, as we have understood the id function, we are done with this lecture. We have understood what is an id operator and what are the different types of id operators we have in Python. We have also understood how id function works and what is the syntax of this function. We just need to provide the name of the object to the id function in order to know its id. So this is all we need to understand in this lecture. I will see you in the next one.